Globally, around 21,000 fire and emergency vehicles are made each year, of which Austrian Rosenbauer makes a little over $1 billion in sales. But it's Pierce that leads the way with an annual revenue of over $1.2 billion. With Japanese manufacturer Marita in hot pursuit, with typical annual earnings of over $850 million. And the global market for fire trucks is only set to increase for one simple reason. Worldwide, the proportion of people living in urban areas is expected to grow to 68% by 2050. And cities often have only one way to go, up. With four buildings over 1,000 feet tall and three more under construction, Nanning in southern China has turned to piers for a pump able to send water to a height of over 1,300 feet. For comparison, that's 300 feet higher than the Eiffel Tower. And sending water to that height is going to take a lot of pressure. The problem you got with a high-rise application is there's pressure loss as you're going up the different stories. Pumps work thanks to a part called an impeller. Once the pump is connected to a water source, the impeller starts to spin. Those turning blades push the water forwards, which increases its pressure, and so increases its flow rate. The problem is, the greater the height the water has to reach, the greater the pressure that is required. So for Nanning, Pierce created a prototype fire truck, not with one, but two pumps, and armed those pumps with not one impeller each, but three between them. And it worked. Water pressure rose so high, it sent 424 liters per minute from ground level up to the 85th floor. At Pierce in Appleton, Wisconsin, the fire trucks are now ready to get their signature looks. After all the components are primed, paint is sprayed on by hand. It'll then take at least two hours in an industrial oven at 160 degrees Fahrenheit to set. The result, a heavy duty finish that will protect the truck from corrosion through years of service. And the phrase fire engine red has a completely new meaning here. We have over 200 shades of red, and the customer is able to select which color that best matches their city, and we accommodate what they're looking for. If you thought all fire trucks are red, think again. There are yellow trucks, blue trucks, green trucks. There's even been a pink truck. In fact, any color imaginable is possible. We actually have a imager that we can take a color from the customer and we can scan it and we can match that color here and we are able to put that on the truck. This is no ordinary paint. It's highly resistant to ultraviolet light, chemical spills, abrasion, and most importantly, heat. It's a uniform that will withstand years of hot action and a long life on active duty. With the components painted, next up, it's over to the build area, where the cab will be mounted onto the chassis. Now we're bringing over about roughly a ton of aluminum, and we're going to drop it over in the, onto the chassis. All right. Now we're coming down. All right. The cab is secured in place with just four heavy-duty bolts. It's then joined by the high-pressure water pump. 
With many delicate components already added to the pump's frame, mounting it without snagging it can be a challenge. 